Hello everyone, and welcome to episode 21 of the Disguise 5 Complete LP. So, starting up right after last time, still have 98 days of curry to show that I am totally legit. And I'll just show over here that uh, this one only has three days, which makes sense, because the battle initiated plus the uh, two days, or the two fights that I essentially took, because 100 day curry. Um, okay. So let's get like to into uh, the next thing, because might as well just, you know, start off uh, with the end. Because I don't have a conversation to do. <sighs> You're here, warriors of the rebel army. I owe you a great deal. At least, let me pay this much back, Goldion. Goldion? What are you talking about? My name is Bloodus. It is a most excellent name that I received from Lord Void Dark. As we suspected, he is being brainwashed by Void Dark. So, now how shall we approach this? We'll eliminate the lost soldiers. Everyone else, attack Demon General Bloodus and wear him down. Roger, Blip. And for the final... <sighs> God, I need to, uh... I need to turn off my phones or whatnot when I'm doing these, because I keep getting phone calls, especially after uh, a few episodes ago. Oh, Blow? Killian and Zoroke will perform their combo skill? Red Magnus doesn't quite get it, but we just have to bring it to Bloodus, right? Well, that's basically correct. Uh, Kilia, Zorokin, are you two ready? Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, leave it to me! Okay, and let's let the battle begin. So now we are <laughs> we're fighting against Bloodus and a shit ton of other enemies. Got some bears. Okay, so let's look at Bloodus, see if he has anything. Um, abilities, still has that. Now he has, I believe, even more moves. Although maybe not. Um, yeah, his combat skills put him at the top of the last. Yeah, nothing new, not even a new description, even though we found out that he What's is Goldion. Uh, which honestly surprised me that they didn't, like, uh, change his flavor text of any kind. Um, just gonna throw Seraphina up there. Kill him. His ma mages are annoying to deal with. So I'm gonna, gonna get rid of these guys before I move anyone else out. That way, I, <laughs> that way no one's caught in the crossfire of super powerful people. Um, Christo, Zeta. I'll let him be thrown in here. You shit. Talia. Pram. Nah, I'm not gonna have Pram out because I feel like Pram is probably one of the more OP uh, characters simply because she is uh, she has the ability that just does random uh, does damage to a random enemy at the end of a turn. I feel like that's very overpowered yeah. for what it actually is, and I don't want to trivialize like really cool fights with that because now that uh, everyone is super strong she's gonna be killing people left right of course she wouldn't one hit bloodus with her ability some of my some of the funniest things to me are when uh people do the skills you see them hitting and all that shit and it's just like yeah didn't do any damage yeah, <laughs> that was all just for show. 
N nobody got hit by all that stuff that totally just happened. Um, okay. Oh, don't like that. Yeah, let's get rid of it. Okay. 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 Now she can move. Move out here. Um, let's move Red Magnus up so you can just kill him. And it's time to push. So we're gonna kill ya. For the sake of the uh, context or the uh, canon canonity, canonness, canon cannons, uh, cannon battle. I'm gonna try and uh, take out Bloodus, which shouldn't be too hard, with only Kilia and Zerokin, just because I. I feel like those are the two people that would primarily fight because they're gonna do the uh, Avidya Holy Water. So I go, oh, they need to do this move. Well, they should probably be the ones fighting him primarily. Uh, of course, that's just my personal taste in, uh, damn, okay. Personal taste in the matter. But, uh, let's just end turn there. The, uh, I need to, I'm just having so many technical shit stuff today. Like, oh yeah, like, the, ho the home phone rings, which is the phone I can't really control, because I'm not gonna, like, I really should unplug it or something, but I don't, but I can't control my cell phone, forgot to put it on silent. Ugh. You know, I mean, at least it gives me something to talk about and stuff for me to edit, because... Cause, like these episodes don't take much to edit. It, the the only thing that takes a considerable amount of time is actually uh, like exporting the video so it can render. <laughs> but uh, otherwise, it's rather simple because I just have I just have the video itself. Uh, then I have um, uh, the video itself with, I have, uh, like, the opening, uh, part of it, with, um, uh, let's just do that. No, take care. The opening video, where it just says Disguise 5, and it has, like, the sick guitar riffs in the back, which, uh, I like guitar riffs. I really do. It's, like, my favorite thing in music. Just, <laughs> just, I, I, I just love hearing like a uh, and one of my favorite things from any video game ever is actually uh, uh, Borderlands 2 and 3 well, 2 and a, oh, pre-sequel, which I just call 3 um, which is uh, Torg, one of the gun manufacturers uh, Torg character I guess we've never seen Gigastar oh, no, we have, I hit A instead of X because different control schemes um, but as I was saying Torg is just a really funny character because he'll like be like listen to my sick guitar solo and he just like he doesn't actually have a guitar <laughs> he's just like yeah I, I'm doing an air guitar but it's all just <laughs> is everybody oh, ready cool you may feel a little reluctant, but in order for the plan to work, aim for the old scar on his ribs. Red Magnus doesn't like resorting to tricks, like attacking a guy's weakness, but we don't super have a choice. It's a must to exploit an enemy's weakness. I don't have any reluctance. Let's kill him already. No, no, we can't kill him, Blip. Hmm. Killia? Oh, I'm all right. I know better than anyone that he's not someone I can defeat by exercising discretion. Ah, I'll do it then. I won't let you down. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah, that. Right there. Uh, but Torek, he just only has an air guitar, and it's just really funny. He's like one of my favorite characters in video games ever. And you only interact with him through quests and whatnot. Like you only see his actual character model, 
like in one DLC in Borderlands 2, uh, Assault on Tiny Tina's Keep or whatever. And, oh, it's so great. I just love it. But uh, as I was saying, editing it isn't really hard because uh, I have the video of this, which is all in one because the audio and video are in the same file, which makes it really easy because I don't even have to sync. So I can just riddle them off. And it were, uh, other, I would, uh, in other, see, uh, in other games, probably try and sync them, uh, if only because uh, it would just uh, possibly align the game easier. Because in the Elgato HD60, uh, there's no instant game view, so I don't see, um, I don't get the audio back immediately. There's like a one, one and a half, maybe two second lag. Uh, which is fine for like a SRPG like this, where it doesn't really matter. Uh, but in other games, it might like severely matter. It's like, if I was playing uh, like a really fast paced game, you wouldn't want my audio to be ahead of yours. You wouldn't want it to be like, oh yeah, th this guy's talking about stuff that we haven't seen yet. Or he's just like being, it would just be super jarring. But because this is turn based and there's stuff like this where I don't control it, I'm just watching with you guys. Okay, cool. Uh, I don't feel that I need to separate them and then uh, sync them. So I just have the game audio, the opener, and then I recently added the closer. Uh, well, I don't want to say recently added, I recently made the closer and then added it to videos uh, past. I believe I added it starting at like 14 or whatnot. I'm not sure. But uh, let's get to this. Uh, no, I do not want to skip this very important demo. Eh, chapter ending demo. Uh, why? My body won't respond the way I want it to. As the result of his brainwashing, he has even forgotten about his old scar. How fortunate. Kilia! Zorokin! Now's your chance! Gotcha. Let's go, Zorokin. Ultimate demon technique. Final skill. Avidia Holy Water! I knew it. I can't do it by myself. Zorokin! Yeah! Leave it to me, bro! Uh, whatever. It's too late to turn back now. I don't care anymore! Let's go! <laughs> Master! Goldion! The Great Demon Fist! Please wake up with this! Ultimate Demon Technique! Final skill! A video holy water. Is that it? Hey, Zero, stop with the super jokes. You're supposed to finish him off here. Uh. Christo, our plan failed. Let's retreat. If that's the final technique that we were expecting, then we have no choice. All right. Retreat. Damn it! I'm such a... I'm such a... At this time, Demon Emperor Void Dark had effective control of over 70% of the entire Netherworlds. Even Explocution, after fighting unaided against the Demon General, fell at this time. The damage caused in the region of Explocution was never officially counted, but later historians believe over 10 billion netherworlds fell in its wake. Part one is over. The ultimate demon technique, final skill, misfires, and Zerokin is left in tears as he runs away from the rebel army in disgrace. Goodbye, Zerokin. 
While wandering the netherworld alone, he is recruited by an overlord from a different dimension. He winds up in the location where Carnage gathers. The training is severe, but Zerokin doesn't give up. That regrettable moment, when he couldn't unleash the skill, motivates him to move forward. As he trains, he regains his confidence. After defeating many overlords during training, they call him the Major Majin. Zerokin bounces back and beyond, then returns to the rebel army that is still fighting Void Dark's lost army and annihilates them. After becoming a hero in a single night, he leaves again without even celebrating, saying that he will defeat Super Overlord Ball. Wow! I'm so cool! Next time on Legend of the Galactic Zerokin, Episode 8, The Beginning of a Legend. Everyone up! We're going! Huh? We're really doing this? So, that, that was one of the more serious episode enders. And it's actually quite interesting because they reference Super Overlord Ball, which I believe in like every Disgaea game has been the post-game super boss where his level is also max and you need all your party to be nearly max statted or just like really high stats and usually like there's a specific strategy you need to go in with um okay what in the human world are you doing i can't believe you misfired that final skill when you had the perfect opportunity and you were so confident you got red magnus's hopes up for nothing Indeed. Miraculously, we were somehow able to escape, but we easily could have been annihilated. Come on, don't all gang up on him like that. You're going to make Zerokin feel pitiful, Plick. Zerokin, it seems like you know the reason. I'm sorry, bro. I... I'm not actually Goldion's apprentice! Episode 8, Past Struggles, Part 2. I like the tiny interim they put between that bomb drop. <laughs> I... used to be a member of the Lost. Zero! You're one of the Lost! You lied to us! Calm down, Red Magnus. I love to fool people, but I hate when somebody fools me. Please, give me every last detail. Don't get me wrong. I'm no longer with the Lost. It's not easy to leave the Lost, Plip. Something big must have made you want to quit. Yeah, a lot of things happened. The reason I joined the Lost was simple. I didn't have any other way to survive. The Lost destroyed my home world and forced me to choose whether to obey or die. Ultimately, I chose to obey, and they gave me the task of taking care of the prisoners. I was able to stay alive, but I didn't have any hope. I lived without hope every day. Then one day, I met my idol, Goldion, the Great Demon Fist. He lost a fight with Demon Emperor Void Dark, and his ribs were severely injured. But I just couldn't believe it. I thought it was weird that Goldion could have lost. As a caretaker, my priority was to heal his wounds. I was with him every day, taking care of him, cleaning out his wounds and replacing his bandages. That's when I noticed that his wound wasn't new. It was an old scar that had opened up. I fed him his meals until he recovered enough to freely move around. He didn't talk at first, but as time went on, he eventually opened his heart to me. It was like a dream come true, getting to talk to my idol. Every meal, every time I changed his bandages, I asked about the ultimate demon technique, and he always looked disgruntled. But I seriously wanted to get strong, so I told him I wanted to quit the Lost. Then, he taught me one move, and then more and more. 
I understand. And then you use the skills you learned to escape the lost. Yeah, something like that. Okay, so now we have a new thing we can do in the assembly, and we can Jeez, change the best. cheat shop levels. So I forget what the levels are at here. So, okay, so that'll just make grinding easier. Well, let's see how the research is going. But yeah, that, uh, you get, you get some, uh, Zorokin backstory where uh, I would honestly say that what he was was probably equivalent of an apprentice. Like, I, I don't see his claim as not being an apprentice as really feasible. Simply because it's like, if he trained you, if he showed you the moves, then I would say that's about enough. Like, I don't, I don't see a problem with him calling himself an apprentice. Like, I'd say he's pretty good. Um... Train at Martial Training. Oh, I think this is, uh, I think Martial Training is one of the, uh, sort of grindy levels where, uh, you unlock, uh, essentially maps that are better for grinding than others. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, uh, I'm not gonna be able to force you if I fail, so let's, let's try and find the highest level people. I think I could take you. Because um, what you want to do is, if you don't think you can win, you want to find the people that are going to go against you. And I don't know what symbols are. Ah, yes. These. Uh, gold bars are essentially uh, items that everyone wants. So it's like, oh, th those are ones where you can really just change them to your side. Okay, I think symbols are like, uh, these. But they're not very interested, except for some of them. Oh, because I... I had gone over it. So... Don't... I'm probably not going to be using Imperial Seals. So might as well just get you over to my party. 358. You like muscles. I have muscles. On my muscles. On my tassels. Uh, unfortunately, I don't know that fairly odd pants on. Not that anyone would uh, want to hear my rendition of it. Uh, for those of you that have not figured it out based off of uh, my musical talents in... Uh, past episode where I was getting annoyed because it crashed. I think it was like episode f six or seven in Poison Dice. Um, I, uh. Yeah. I s uh, did a slightly annoyed song, and it wasn't the best song ever. Uh, I don't know which one. Oh, I need to look at the item information. Oh, damn, I think I may have given up a really good item. Oh, whatever, doesn't matter. Okay, you're my best friend, Orc King. Um, okay, what do you like, <laughs> legendary gunman? Guns, uh, my god, would never have guessed. See, this is... Uh, these are a good way to, like, get rid of items that you're never planning on using because they're super low-leveled and whatnot. I do like how the, the pirates are drunk. Uh, and I could undrunk them. I'm probably gonna undrunk you. Uh, but only because... Yeah, sober him up. Uh, I'm only undrunking you because you're only against, whereas this dude is total opposition, so take more. Uh, and you like axes, which I'm honestly surprised about. Um, yeah, just gonna get you to Strongly 4. Because Strongly 4 is a pretty decent chance to say yes. And every vote counts. So, I mean, nothing. There you go. In favor of... Um, yeah, so let's, let's see how this goes. Hey, this one... This one pretty good. Got it through, so. Weaklings. Yeah, I can now travel to martial training, which is essentially like grind town. 
Uh, but I don't want to go there yet because it'll probably initiate a, uh, a cutscene. But I am going to save now because I just did something that was like uh, essentially because this game crashes uh, sometimes. It's mostly in the item world. Uh, but because this game crashes, oh yeah, here's a female star female, uh, my ruby knight. I should probably make some more people, or I may not make them. I think I might just uh, recruit them. Oh, next time I really get the chance. Let's see if I have anyone it? to interrogate. Oh, I do. I'm gonna. I'm, yeah, I'm gonna recruit you. I don't know who you are. I don't. <laughs> I don't know who you are. I don't know what you want. But I have a particular set of skills. Hellish swamp. <laughs> solicit because boom now I have someone I can put in a squad awesome. um organize squad um senators center squad is always a useful squad call that maestro boom so I'm gonna I'm definitely gonna be getting some people and putting them in squads just to fill them out. Uh, so let's save again, because saving is always fun. But because the game crashes, it really, uh, really drives home like, oh yeah, I should save after everything. I do something, save. Do something, save. So you lose as little as possible when it does crash. But we're in this conversation now with Kilia, Christo, and Usalia. And Usalia is some hungry. She she wants some curry. Uh, and apparently she's daydreaming. So, I <laughs> I always find it interesting how, like, curry was her least favorite thing when, and then it just becomes her most favorite thing. Like, oh yeah, curry is now delicious after I've been forced to eat it a super lot. Oh, Red Magnus just channeled. Um, but you can't complain because forced to eat all the curry. But it must be uh, almost like a kind of heavenly situation where you're having Kilia, apparently a master chef, uh, making curry for you because you need it. And he's not going to say no. But uh, I was thinking about the impact the internet is having on society in the leaking of personal information. So with that, that's interesting because that says that there's an internet that the demon world knows of. <laughs> And I do like how she always uh, tries to cover up her daydreaming that, uh, like, about curry with, uh, oh, I'm going to try and put in some, like, deep and very intelligent shit in this. Uh, don't want you to go berserk. Don't want to cause any trouble. You don't have to make so much curry for me. You sure. Uh... Ooh, fluffy rising dragon bowl. See, a lot of these foods are foods that I would want to try just because they sound interesting. Like, yeah, I want to eat a dragon, which I'll pour on top of curry. <laughs> uh. So that was curry conversation. So, just doing circles. I wonder how many times I've like just absent-mindedly been like, oh, what do I do? What did I? What do I do? What do I do? Just do a circle around here. Um, and one quick thing that I've been doing off camera, uh, every single map was uh, it's just this better items at the store. And I'm using Red Magnus simply because. Oh wow, that that was a really close one. Here I go. But. I just do that off, uh, off screen because the, the items aren't <laughs> like in other games. I always use the items that were like it was always like okay, I need to upgrade the store and then get the best item from here. But now it's uh, now it's the items in here are complete scrub territory to what I can buy or to what I can just get for free in the item world. And I still haven't shown off any of the stealing hands, which I do I do want to show. Me? So. If I remember, hopefully my brain doesn't just decide to die. <laughs> I, just, I just need to remember to go into the uh, dragon scissors. Um, 
need to go into the menu, probably with Kilia, because he has the best stats out of everyone. And Why would you like to go, dude? Steal something. So here's the cutscene. Hmm. Ooh. Hey, that Goldion guy is calling for you. Kilia, if you don't call him master, then he'll scold you and make you do a thousand push-ups again. Huh. I won't call him master. I'd rather die. <sighs> it's no use. Oh, Kilia, do you know the name of this flower? I couldn't care less about the names of flowers. This flower is called a Lise. Lise? Yes, it's the same as my name. <laughs> That's the first time you've actually said my name. No, I just... I love this flower. I would spend every day simply staring at it forever if I could. If you like it that much, then you should just take it with you. <gasps> what are you doing? Huh? Do you have any idea what you've just done? This flower was alive! Huh? Are you mad because I picked this flower for you? Then you shouldn't have a problem with this. What did you do? My overload skill, Alma Ice Sculpture. It can freeze anything in an instant, stopping time around it. How's that? Are you satisfied? Stupid! Stupid? This won't bring back the life that was lost. <laughs> this world is all about survival of the fittest. The strong take from the weak. That's the kind of carnage I grew up in. What's wrong with that? I see. That is why you're weak. I'm weak? You're calling me, who used to be the feared tyrant overlord Kilidia, weak? Yes. Those like you, who have a weak heart, will always be weak, no matter how strong they get. Heart? Don't be stupid. Demons don't have such things. No, we do. You simply don't understand anything. That is why you lost to my father. Lise, please wait for me. I'll get revenge. Then... What's wrong, Sir Kilia? You look like you're deep in thought. Nothing. I was just thinking of something. Sorry for dragging you down. No, it's not that. I was thinking about something else. Oh, by the way, I have located Demon General Bloodus. His location is... The Mobile Fortress Netherworld. Dark Testament. Dark Testament! That netherworld is known for being the most brutal weapon ever, which has destroyed many other netherworlds, Flip. <laughs> that is super excellent. The strongest overlord versus the most brutal weapon. Red Magnus will show him who's boss. Zorokin, I'd like to teach you the final skill. You're gonna teach me, bro? I myself haven't mastered it. But I'm gonna teach you everything Goldion taught me. I'll only be mimicking him, but it's worth a try. Okay, I won't let you down, bro. Please, teach me the final skill. All right, you're probably missing the same thing I am. What could that be? The final skill is very powerful, and it can wipe out all maliciousness. It's a supreme ability. Because of that, it requires something very important. Heart. A uh, heart? Yes. Someone taught me that. Heart. Huh. See, you would think that Kilia would mention all that shit prior to... <laughs> like, prior to their battle with Bledis that other time. Cause it's like, oh yeah, obviously Zorokin does not know how to do it cause he failed the last time. So why would you not mention all of this shit prior to going into the most needed instance of it having to succeed? So uh, 
Yeah, it just seems like a really... D it's like, okay, now that we realized we fucked up, let's try and, like, retcon it. Let's try and fix it. Okay, the Lost's mobile fortress is designed to handle a lot of transport traffic. <laughs> and martial training. A land where those who want to overcome their limits come to train. So, uh... Let's go to martial training and then just do the first trial. Because I want to show you uh, martial training. So, as you can see, attack 50%. Um, so it just makes it really easy to take these guys out. And I do uh, remember, these. Guys, I am on 3 star, so these guys uh, are stronger than they would be at level 150, uh, 153. But they're also set up in a pattern where hitting them with like a multi-person uh, move is very easy, like this. And they're on an attack 50% increase, so like, killing them is also relatively easy. So you just come in here with like a character who you need to level, pop them. Yeah. You okay? And the bonus XP for it is decently high as well. Now, unfortunately, I'm not sure how the martial training work. I I'm not sure if it's chapter to chapter. Ooh, cute explode. Um, let's go in here, because maybe every time you have to, every time you beat a map, maybe you have to do a new, uh, uh, no, it doesn't, doesn't seem like it. I thought possibly after every cleared map you had to, uh, pass another bill, or you may have to, and I'm only allowed to do that first map right now, because it, maybe it's chapter by chapter. But, uh, we did what? find out that there's an overlord that they found, so... Let's just go defeat this overlord. Should be fast, level 25, and then we can get to the story mission. Let's go! Um, okay, just going to Papusali over there. Yeah, just gonna do yeah. that. Yeah. You guys, let's super go! Um, yep. Let's go! Boop. Just putting them places where I can it's just demolish. Um, nope. There. Hey, you. Yep. Yep. Drill. Yep. Drill. Yep. No. Yeah. Yep. And then end turn. See, the nice part about Disgaea no. is that the AI is isn't complicated. You can very much tell, like. The enemies don't have much thought. It's they get within range and use whatever skill they can use within that range that will do the most damage. So it's very simple. They're not gonna try and like, okay? like draw you out. They're not gonna try anything complicated. Like it is quite simply one of the easiest yeah, perfect dude. people to uh, interrogate and add to my squad, or add to my team, because I, like, just want to fill up some stuff. Okay, I wish I could just, like, I understand why, I wish I could just be, like, do whatever you need to to subjugate these people. Of course, they don't want to trivialize every part of the game, because, oh, this game is menus. Um, interrogation squad, should probably just put one last person in there. Oh yeah, I never. I'm an idiot. I never got them on my team. I never solicited them. This is it. Uh, no, I'm I'm showing my crapness. Yeah, I'm a Kane. Hey, Peyton Elway. Hi, Dee Dee. Hi, Katori. See, I wish you weren't a Cleo, because now I have a Cleo on my team that I didn't make. But I can always reincarnate them awesome. and uh, make them better, or I'll just get a, a better one later. So interrogation squad. I like you, Katori. Um, you don't need it. You don't need it. Uh, you don't need it. Uh, um, well, I mean, all of you are already in there. Um, yeah, so let's just put you guys. One, two, three. So I can put... Uh, I should probably get... I should probably try and just get you up to the final level of this, because Dark, Dark Assembly Squad is awesome. And all the other ones are pretty 
fine. I mean, the research one, I believe the more people I have in it, the faster the stuff goes. Or just the better they do. But as of right now, until we get more squads, I think I'm just going to interrogate people to get them the uh, bonus. Uh, uh, gotta rotate my saves. In case something goes wrong and I have to redo like an to episode. Go, of course, with the amount of saving I do. I, d I do. I do. I do. I do. I wonder if you have to do it in one turn. Oh, well. I oh, my God. Where would you uh, like to go, dude? Sometimes you don't want to go for the double tap. <laughs> when you're assassinating someone, always go to the double tap. Make sure you take them off. Characters thrown off the map leave the battle. So what that tells me is there's an edge, and if you don't want to fight someone, throw them off the map. So, this is Dark Testament. I see. It certainly lives up to its reputation for being the most brutal weapon ever. Its impact is more akin to a battleship than a netherworld. I would like to have this. I didn't think we'd be able to get inside so easily. Do you think it's a trap? What is it, Zorokin? Bro! It looks like something's weighing heavily on your heart, too. I don't have any right to say this, but you won't be able to master the final skill like that. Weighing on my... heart? I can't keep quiet about this any longer. Bro, everyone, please listen. There's something I have to tell you guys. You were still hiding more? It's not manly to not lay everything out in the open from the beginning! My! Does the person who is keeping the destruction of his own netherworld a secret have any right to speak on this? <sighs> Come on, everyone! Let's listen to Zorokin's tail flip! The truth is... I'm not even an overlord. I knew that the second I saw you. Huh? <laughs> Do you have to be so cruel? Is that all you needed to say? Uh, I'm starting to crave curry flip. No, I have something more important to say. Actually, I... I saw Goldion turn into Demon General Bloodus, from beginning to end. Oh, now that should be an interesting story. Let's hear more about that. It happened after Goldion started placing his trust in me. The members of the Lost started torturing him without waiting for his wounds to completely heal. I was taking care of him, so I knew how badly they were torturing him. The Lost were trying really hard to make Goldion obey them, so they just continued his torture. But Goldion wouldn't give in. He withstood countless hours of torture for days on end. Hearing his heroic legends, Goldion was my idol. At that moment, I learned that his strength isn't just his power or skills. I don't know anyone who's as strong and dignified as he was. Goldion is known as being an overlord whose netherworld is inside his heart. After what I saw, I think I understand what that means. I wanted to become strong, like Goldion, and he made me long for that once again. But... But what? Then, Demon Emperor Void Dark appeared. I see. So Demon Emperor Void Dark himself arrived and brainwashed him. I couldn't do anything. I wanted to stop him, but I was afraid of dying. And I just couldn't stop shaking. And then... Finally, I couldn't watch anymore, so I ran away. That's natural, Plip. Even if you jumped in to try to stop it, you probably would have gotten yourself killed. No, that's just an excuse. I'm a worthless coward who didn't even try to save my idol. I just ran away. Zorokin, now I understand. But all that matters is what happens now, from here on. Do you plan to live the rest of your life blaming yourself? I don't want that at all. I don't want to live as a coward. 
And I don't want to die as one either. Then what will you do? I want to become a stronger man. I want to become stronger like Goldion. Then become that man! Huh? If that is what you want to be, then why don't you just be that? But... You're saying that like it's so easy. Are you going to quit because it's difficult, Flip? At this rate, you're never going to be a strong man. No! I... I... will become a strong man! I like how the rest of the team all just gets one-liners and then they enter battle pose. So... I don't know where the edges are. And it, this just seems like San Kano. It's even using the same thing. Unless is this unless this is just like inferring. Oh, okay. Wow, this goes up pretty high. Um, unless this is just inferring that San Kano is like attached, and they just have to board it right now. Um, I wish Kilia had like a slightly longer range move, but oh well. Looks like someone's getting thrown. No, they're not, Serafina. Let's go. I believe in a land of equality. Uh, there you go. Um, I'm going for let's it. just shoot Sally over here, because this is like there's only one person there. Let's go, go, go! Go, go, gadget skis. Don't get super reckless. Don't get too reckless, because then you might die. I've watched enough shows that being <laughs> shit. I've watched enough shows, yes. I've, I've watched enough shows that have taught me that being reckless sometimes is really cool. Sometimes is probably the dumbest thing you can possibly do ever. For some people, being reckless is totally okay. Those people, usually not the smartest but have some of the best intents. They're not campers, though. Get it? Intents? Camp? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm, I'm actually truly sorry for my crappy, my crappy jokes. Um, I apologize with all my heart. Please don't hate me. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, I just love when enemies uh, attack you. And the counter that like, kills them. Not that that was the case in this, but I just I love it when that's what happens. Oh, cool! I can capture you. Um, can I capture you? Yes, I can. Whoa! Yeah, go, Overlord Zeta. Just keep going. Keep going. Yeah, just keep it going. Here I am. Let's throw you. Let's have Red Magnus show some uh, some cool shit, cause you know he's Red Magnus isn't like I feel like I've been pretty honest with you, everybody. He's not my favorite character at all. Like he's he's kind of bland in my opinion. Here I go. Yeah, he's gonna capture Jerry. Jerry, Lad! Phoenix Valor. But he's just kind of. Sometimes I find him more annoying, because it's just like, oh, his, his thing is he says super, and he wants to be the strongest, and that that's about it. He's just a loud guy. It's not... If you leave it to me, we'll like, he's barely win. even relatable, because he, his entire revenge plot is because he was sleeping. It's like, oh, these people came in and uh, came in and destroyed my oh, my uh, netherworld. Because I was sleeping. It's like, okay. You have officially lost any semblance of, like, any pity I would have had for you. If it was like, oh, I fought, and then, like, they knocked me out using, uh, like, underhanded method, and they destroyed it, and they, like, they, they randomly sent me to Blood Parch. But now it's like, oh, I was sleeping, and they destroyed it when I was napping. Not enough! I won't be able to master the final skill like this! 
I'm going to repeat this again. You need to conquer your heart. It doesn't matter how much you train or battle. You have to conquer your heart, or else you'll never activate the final skill. My heart? Maybe it's impossible for a weakling coward like me. A weakling on top of being a coward? What do you mean, Plip? After I ran away, leaving Goldion to be brainwashed, I decided to fight the loss to make up for that. I wanted to make it up to Goldion. I wanted to get revenge against the Lost by using the skills he taught me. But... In the end, I'm still the kind of guy who runs away from my problems. Who abandoned my hero. Whenever I'm in a tough situation, I run away. I only fight enemies who are weaker than me. I'm just a helpless weakling. The one who's carrying on Goldion's will? Truth is... I don't deserve to do that. I think you're wrong. You have every right to carry on Goldion's will. Well, what's that, bro? I don't want your pity. Zorokin, you saw me use the ultimate demon technique and boldly challenged me to a fight. During our battles with Bloodus, you risked your life to save us the first time and fought alongside us the second time. Didn't you do all of that for Goldion? Am I wrong? Your heart that thinks about Goldion. There's no question, it's real. Bro... Compared to me, you think about your master way more than I do. You can become an overlord who possesses a netherworld within his heart, just like Goldion. B bro you'd really accept me as an apprentice brother? Yeah. Bro! S stop Get off me. Hold on a second! That is mine! Calm down, Serafina. Spare him this one time, Plip. Despite what Kilia says, he's actually good at looking after people. It's hard to believe he's a demon. I agree. I can't believe any demon could be like this. But thanks to him, Zorokin was able to take care of what was weighing on his heart. Now, all we need is for Zorokin to overcome that and activate the ultimate demon technique final skill. Yeah, so we so we got uh, some Kilia being a, a nice, cool guy, being like, yeah, like, dude, you're you're totally legit. Like, in fact, you are probably more legit than I am. Let's fix you up. In like your care about. Like people, me, I'm only, I'm only thinking about the girl. You're thinking about the dude who, who it's kind of my fault as to why he's even an enemy right now. Like I injured him because he was, he was trying to take a hit or whatever. I don't know. Uh, items. Oh. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Uh, where I, I'm not sure how long this episode is gonna run. Where would you like to go, but... dude? training first try because I remembered something let's in this quick oh now it's XP plus 100% so they added uh, these which is really nice so steal this item because I want it <laughs> and I don't want it because it's a good item I don't want it I, I want it because I said I would steal no way. Oh, how does it keep missing at 50% <laughs> uh. okay well I need to oh my god <laughs> he's so weak comparatively oh no 
best option. God. His enemies are decently strong. You! Yeah. How about it? God damn it. Here Hoping I go. Maybe weakening him. Like, will help. So they don't uh, <laughs> step in on the steel. Mm, Terra Ice, get rid of you. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna let you do what you will. I'm going to try and steal again. Oh my god. She, she just got demolished. Like, I don't know how to make. Like, I don't have any better hands, which kind of sucks. Just use you. Maybe this will work. Nope. Okay, looks like I'm not... Oh, and because his hit and stuff is terrible. It's not even worth it. Like, come on, man. I just want to take... Something from you! Come on! I want, uh, I just want the audience to not see I'm a liar. I don't want them to believe I'm a liar. No, I'm doing my best. I did my best. I did my best. I did my fucking best. Don't touch me, Grandpa. Yes! Ugh, so I just stole his weapon. Okay. Cool. Um, awesome. So now, um, I'm gonna eat you, dude. Yeah, dude. Uh, can you do anything good? Uh, no, you can only. Okay. Uh, Christo, get out here with your bow. Hit him. And then time drive. Okay. Okay. And I got a good weapon. Or Durandal. I mean legendary weapon from what I believe like French. I believe it was uh, King Charlemagne's weapon or whatever. Okay. Let's so. fix you up. That is the grinding map I used a lot when I played on the PS4. Uh, so let's check out Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's a great weapon. Kill ya. It might not be better than your weapon right now. Oh, it is really close though. Like, it is really close and it's not even... I think it's because it's not like a legendary one. I may have to item world this. Uh, but I may not as well. I may just give it to him. Because I don't have any other sword users. Doesn't really matter. Um, uh, now there's even more events. Unless those were there prior? Don't really know. Um, so I'm gonna save here. And I will see you guys in episode 22. Because this episode is either a little long or average time. Not really sure at this point. Uh, so, see you guys later. Hope you have a nice day.